Jarida Apesti loves going to school. The best part is being able to concentrate on her lessons, but that wasn't always the case. The 12 year old's feet used to be full of jiggers, tiny sand fleas that burrow into people's bare flesh, causing burning, painful lesions. I felt terrible. I couldn't play, I couldn't jump. I scratched myself mostly at night for a long time. Other children at this primary school in Kisumu County still suffer from the minute parasite. Constant itching and severe pain makes it difficult for the infected students to walk and impossible for them to concentrate in class. Untreated, jiggers can lead to deformed limbs, gangrene and fatal tetanus infections. Jiggers are a widespread but neglected health problem in Africa. Official figures are hard to come by. In the schools here in Kisumu, almost a third of pupils are infected with jiggers. I have them. I felt so much pain every time I was scratching myself. It was too painful. I still feel pain. It's not just the pain of the actual infection that's a problem, but also the teasing and social exclusion by the other children. The students here at Apanga Primary School have decided to do it differently. Instead, they are helping each other. Here, a local NGO has been training these children who've made it their mission to tackle jiggers. What's more, being treated by their friends and peers has helped fight the fear of the treatment and the stigma associated with the disease. Across Kisumu, students are now health scouts. They are challenging the belief that having jiggers is a poor people's disease and are helping their schoolmates heal. And instead of the traditional method of pulling out the fleas, which is excruciating, they're using a pain-free technique. We start with the ones who are severely infected. We wash their feet, we put them in a second basin with fresh water, and they stay there with their feet inside for five minutes. Then the scouts wipe the whole legs with medicine, and we ask them to sit in the sun. Dorita's brothers, Edward and Ibulacio, will soon be jigger-free. Then, just like Dorita, they'll be able to enjoy school again. When we introduce the Jiggers treatment, we have noticed a definite change in the students' performance. The school generally improved and we scored high in the national exams. And seeing them heal and starting to play with each other, that has made me happy as a health teacher. The Jigger treatment has changed these students' lives. I love going to the river to fetch water. I love to study and to play. I feel better because I'm healed and I can play. I can walk properly. I can jump as well. Jarida hopes that other schools across the region will adopt this way of dealing with the jigger flea. She wants other pupils to be able to love school as much as she does.